Fair Art Gallery and we're very happy at the moment to be hosting an exhibition of the clothes of Paul O'Grady as Lily Savage. So if you'd like to come with me, I'll show you where they're on display. Well, we started working on this exhibition about a year ago now. Um, we initially uh, contacted Paul and said, would you be interested in doing an exhibition with us? Uh, because we thought this would be a great idea. Um, we found out he had all of these costumes still in store and we knew that obviously something so spectacular they'd really appeal to our visitors so we contacted him in it was about October of last year and at that point um, he hadn't been Lily for quite some time she'd retired to a French convent in 2004 so it wasn't something he wanted to do as a priority but he did come back to us because in 2010 of course he brought Lily back for Panto in London and it was at that point that he thought this would be a good idea, let's do something with Liverpool Museums. So we were delighted to be back in touch with him. We worked closely with his agent, who's been absolutely wonderful, she's been so helpful. And I went down to look at them just over a year ago in the store and realised right away that this was a fantastic uh, collection, huge amount of material. This is only the tip of the iceberg that you see on display. Um, I would love to have done many more, but obviously we have certain budgets we have to stick to. So um, what you see here is, is um, the, the cream, if you like, some of the best pieces and the things that will, would be most appropriate really to explore the character of Lily Savage. So you've got things from Lily's early um, incarnation, if you like, uh, when she was first um, on tour and uh, doing stand-up shows. And then over here we've got things that um, Lily wore when she was in Panto. Um, which she played the same part actually in five consecutive pantos. Um, this is the Wicked Queen from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and she played that part between 1999 and 2004. So we wanted to explore that part of Lily's career if you like. There are four dresses at the Museum of Liverpool which um, explore the blankety blank side of Lily's career. So we're, we're trying to portray all the different aspects of what she's done in terms of um, stage and TV performance. Paul's explored some of those sort of Hollywood drama queens in lots of um, Lily's collection. Uh, Joan Crawford and Beth, Midler, Beth Davis, I should say, come to mind. And um, that was one of the aspects he explored with Martin Taylor. He's also looked at other themes like um, the British barmaid, which I think is this kind of thing that, you know, we all know Lily Savage um, to be about, that kind of um, brassy, northern kind of character and then um, more traditional look for panto obviously um, more of what you'd expect to see in panto very very extravagant sequined costumes and they cost a lot of money to make as well they're very expensive costumes to make and they are beautifully made as well i should say um, but they're not just surface show they're very well built inside because of course they had to work very hard on stage but i do like the um, the leopard print dress. I just think it's so typically Lily um, because obviously the animal print thing was so big in her wardrobe and it's just a great dress because it's quite cheaply made, it's not one of the more extravagant ones but it fits so well and it's almost like something you could wear yourself if you were very brave. 